Yellowstone Volcano. How frightening 7.3 magnitude earthquake opened up ground. Yellowstone National Park visitors suffered a frightening event almost 51 years ago, which left experts on edge as reports emerged of the ground opening up. The caldera inside the first U.S. National Park juts its nickname as a supervolcano due to its ability to inflict devastation on a global level. Located below the states of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho, the area is constantly monitored by the USGS. United States Geological Survey, for signs that a super eruption is on its way. While most of these incidents are nowhere near the levels needed to trigger an eruption, the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake that occurred on the 17th of August, 1959, was a different story. The 7.3 magnitude quake caused massive damage, including 28 fatalities and a considerable 9 million British pounds. 200 million pounds today, in repairs to highways and timbers. Smith, who was 11 years old at the time of the disaster, recalled the horror of the event in 2009. She told the Denver Post, it was frightening, it was horrible. You could actually see the ground open up. The event caused a massive avalanche of rock, soil and trees which descended down from the Madison River Canyon's south wall at nearly 100 miles per hour. It took less than one minute for the 80 million tons of rock to slam into the narrow canyon, blocking the river and creating the lake. The fallen material formed a wall blocking the Madison River's flow. Visitor Tooty Green was camping in Yellowstone that evening with her family and recalled her terrifying experience. She told the Forest Service in 2011, We had been on vacation and this was our last week, and we set camp up just the day before the earthquake. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.